personally believe that if I give you a fish, it's not as beneficial as teaching you how to fish. Today's introduction is going to be on several videos that are related to C to C in doing graph scan work. You know the pictures when doing corner to corner, that's what we're going to be discussing today. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly talk about it and then we're going to do a walkthrough of the pattern itself on screen and then I'm going to leave you to be able to fish. So we have a video on how to do corner to corner in the graph scan format, reading the graphs, making the graphs, and also doing color changing and being able to do all of that. So that video has been around a long time and I used my friend Sarah from Repeat Cracker Me as an example to be able to do it with a teddy bear. That video is actually widely used and there's a lot of kudos on it and I think it's almost the standard when it comes to this. So what we have is over the years is Yarnspirations has presented several patterns, like tons of patterns in C2C format. And the problem with the C2C format is that, you know, I could show you row by row and changing the colors on a particular pattern, but I find that people will say to me, you know, I wish you would have done a reindeer instead of a bear, or I wish you would have done a lighthouse instead of something else. And so for me as a tutorial host, it gets very difficult to be able to comply with those kind of requests because the fact is, is that once you understand how to do these graphs or even make these graphs, it's basically up to your own story of what you want to complete. So I'm going to refer to that video in the video description if you would like to access that because that is where you can learn to fish instead of just eating fish. And therefore, even on your inspirations, the crochet crowd, uh, repeat craft for me, for example, you can find these graphs and basically run to town if this is a concept that is in of interest to you. We are seeing more and more pop art when it comes to the corner to corner that you'll see here uh, on our selection. So in the more information of the video, not only is the video on learning how to do this concept also there, but you're going to see a whole whack of other patterns that are available where the graphs are already done for you. So that's really quite exciting. So without further ado, I'm going to talk specifically about the pattern that was showcased in the thumbnail and we're going to walk through each one of those and currently on my list I have 22 of those and so each one of those will be a different video and this is the same introduction for each. Here we have the Bernat Daisy C2C crochet blanket. You'll see that this is a really beautiful concept when it comes to this and this here is using Bernat blanket tiny which is a yarn that's been discontinued but the pattern is still good. So this is designed by Sarah from Repeat Craft Me. You can see that she's provided photos on how she's done it. And so let's take a look at the downloadable pattern that's available to you. Again, this is just C to C in a graph format that you can see. So you're gonna start off, she turns her graphs on an angle like this. So you're just gonna start off going across, across, across and change the colors when you need to in order to create this particular shape. So it's a really nice idea in order to have something kind of fun, something playful, something that's unexpected. This is a really soft yarn. Bernat Blanket Tiny would be the equivalent to something like Red Heart Super Saver, or it could be um, Bernat Super Value. It's not as uh, it's not in the soft as like a Bernat blanket texture, but it's an equivalent to the sizing or the gauge if that helps you to know that. So it's a really neat concept. And this is the uh, Daisy C2C crochet blanket.